uh, this young patient is 22 years old and he sustained crush injury in his uh, left ring finger and I am planning to give brachial plexus block. So here I have marked the space of burn. This is suprasternal notch here. And now I am marking the clavicle here. So this is the clavicle. This is the acromion hand. This is the middle end. And you can notice the external jugular vein here. And serotha it is sir. Serotha. Now you can notice what I said. You can notice the both hand of external external pedo mastoid muscle. This is the external pedo mastoid muscle. This is the sternal head, this is the clavicular head, and this is the extra jugular vein here, and this is the clavicle and this is suprasternal notch. Now put your finger on the over the external pedo mastoid muscle here and try to shift it laterally like this. Once you move serotovita, huh? Once you move your finger laterally, you can now my finger is over the scanless anticus. See? Now rotate it or shift it little laterally. Now here I can feel a groove. This is the anticus me uh, scanless anticus, scanless medius, and this is the internal scanning groove. So I have marked a circle here. So my finger is exactly in between the scanless anticus, this is the A, and scanless medius. So there is a cleft. So this is inter scanning cleft. Now I am moving my finger little down. Little down. Now I can palpate the inferior belly of homohyte. Right? So this inter scanning cleft, this cleft is divided into two cleft above the omohyte this is o and cleft below the omohyte and this circle i have marked in interscalene groove through which i will i would like to insert the needle to block the brachial plexus so this is my own technique this devendra's technique of brachial for brachial plexus block this is interscalene supra omohyte inter scanly triangle technique supra homohyte means above the homohyte but in inter scanly groove supra homohyte inter scanly triangular technique for the brachial plexus i am giving supra homohyte inter scanly triangle approach for the brachial plexus putting my finger in the inter scanly groove cleft here Moving my finger down to palpate the omohyte, then coming back in the interscalene groove, in, in this interscalene groove here, inserting the needle. Aspirate and inject. Aspirate and inject. Slowly advance, aspirate and inject. Aspirate and inject. Aspirate and there should not be any resistance. Rotate, aspirate and inject. Keep watch on the pulse. Always avoid the accidental intravascular injection. See, there is no resistance and no blood. So, inject little bit, aspirate, inject, aspirate, rotate in so many planes to avoid accidental intravascular injection. The technique is simple and I am not purposefully illustrating the paresthesia. Now I have created the space and then gently advance, 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 advance. And then inject, aspirate, inject, rotate, inject, rotate, inject, aspirate, then inject. So there is no blood. And the fluid is easily going without any resistance and I am keeping the watch on the monitor. Preferably there should not be any sudden rise in temperature.
or sorry the sudden rise in pulse that indicate accidentally some of the fluid that contains adrenaline is gone inside the vascular system so that is the intravascular injection that is the only dreaded complication otherwise no problem so i have injected 20 ml of the solution here now to boost up or enhance the analgesia time i would like to give another block from below that is the dual this is my own technique of dual brachial pressure block sometimes the unlearned nerve is spares or if we want to enhance or prolong the anesthesia time we would like to inject little ml of little amount of solution that is about 10 ml of the solution below the clavicle again in the same facial planes so i am removing the syringe and you can notice that there is free flow here to prolong the anesthesia time hmm? so i am injecting go underneath the clavicle here in the direction of interscanning clav so go on there and see there should not be any blood in aspirate and inject this amount of the solution here this is containing 1% zyloquine adrenaline now this infraclavicular supplement to brachial plexus is complete you can notice the balloon here and remove it. 